Hi, my name is Regina and um, I wanted to make actually a workshop at my Hasanazan studio uh, with the Easter eggs painting with the eggs, traditional uh, method from Lithuania, my home country. Uh, but because of the all coronavirus situation and the quarantine, it's, uh, it was not possible yeah, anymore. Yeah, so I figured it out I can yeah, make yeah, yeah, first time a video. <laughs> so here we are. Uh, we're gonna need um, boiled eggs, like hard boiled eggs preferably, or warm if you, <laughs> soft if you would like. And um, keep them warm, but not too hot. Uh, it's important to have them a little bit warm, then the, the wax will not uh, cool so fast. And also the paint probably will take them better. Then you need to prepare paint for the eggs for yourself. I use such kind of plastic cups, or you can use the glass cups, and I fill it kind of uh, less than half. It's exact I'm amount for the egg to them. paint, and get all different kind of colors so you can mix them. Uh, then you need real bee wax, so you can use either the rest of normal candles, real bee candles, uh, bee wax candles, uh, or maybe you bought some kind of decorative candles uh, from bee wax, and you can use them as well. You need um, a metal pot, a little thing where you can melt your bags here. Yeah. Um, kids are already painting and helping me out. It's like nice tradition that I learned from my mom and I'm passing it further to my kids. So we use this electric uh, heater, uh, but you can use a normal uh, stove or anything you have at home as well. Um, and the trick is uh, you need an instrument. So before I forget, Exactly, we need maybe a, a piece of wood or a pencil will do just fine and then you need uh, all kinds of sort of the needles or nails. So this is like one of my favorites, I'm using it for like many many years already. It's like an old pencil, but it's a perfect uh, needle that I have. It makes me the perfect uh, size uh, drawings. But you can use like a, a... So the idea is to have the needle, the smaller it gets, the better it is. Maybe I can use some contrast to, to show it so that you could see it better. Uh, 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 something like that. And um, you just tuck it behind uh, in the pencil and there you go, you have your instrument to paint. So the wax has to be hot, uh, not too hot because then it's gonna uh, be uh, vaporizing and uh, smelling too much. Mm -hmm. And then, and then the trick is that you're painting, uh, you're heating your nail, uh, and uh, with one heat, you're making uh, either a dot or either uh, either something else, <laughs> but just one movement. So you're like basically you're touching it, and then you're putting a dot, and then you're touching again the wax, and then you're putting just like one leaf, and then again and again a leaf. Again, and again I leave, again, and then again. So it takes time, it takes, how we say in German word, geduld, forgot how it is in English, patience, patience, and lots of practice to get it really like uh, ideal shape and structure. And then once you're finished with your ornament, you're putting your egg into the paint. Oh! Oh, yeah. Goodness, how did you do it? Yeah. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, do it. Then you put, when you have your flower done, for yeah. example, before I had a yellow egg, and then I put it in the blue one, and then these flowers that I paint with wax, they stay in this yellow color. You either can scratch the wax away, uh, but because it's very trans transparable wax, very fresh one like this candle, so uh, you can see all the all the colors behind it, and you don't you don't even need to scratch it, to scratch it away. Just can leave it. Like I use sometimes uh, an older wax. If you're like uh, in many many uh, days, you've been using it uh, uh, many years, then it becomes really really burned dark wax. And um, this one is also very nice on like. Uh, yellow eggs to paint and just to leave it on. So it's like brown flowers, brown leaves and so on. Um, ornaments, what kind of ornaments you can use, um, you can find online or uh, just Google uh, some painting eggs uh, with tags, uh, traditional methods or something like that, and you will come across very various pictures. Uh, the best thing is to figure out yourself what kind of motifs you want to use. 
um, I'm painting always the, the flowers and then ornaments around the flowers, what I, what I um, feel like. <laughs> but for example, I have like this postcard that I got some like a long time ago and has lots of lots of nice uh, ornaments uh, just to have a glance and to choose maybe one or the other. Some of them are really complicated. It's like really precision and even calculation that your ornaments would fit on the egg <laughs> and so on. So it's not so easy as it seems, but it's possible and it's doable. And my kids are already big experts in egg painting. I'm proud of them. They're doing a great job. So if you will have further questions, just let me know. Uh, I'm happy to answer all the questions and give you further tips. So happy Easter to everybody and uh, stay healthy and safe with your families. Bye. <laughs>